today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the mesh stitch, which is shown here in my sample of the Daphne Shaw. So uh, the way we do mesh stitch is we start off with a multiple of two, just as we would when working double crochet, uh, I mean US double. Let's find the end of this. There we go. Right, so uh, I just have a sample here. Uh, it's just a cardigan that I'm working on. I'm going to show you how to do the mesh stitch. It works on any multiple of two. You don't have to do it after working a double crochet, but uh, it helps. So let's just fix this here. Start again. So this is a half double crochet that I've been working on. Okay, so uh, what you will need to do first is you need to do one row of whatever the main stitch is. So it could be double crochet, it could be half double crochet. And that is so it can form as your base and keep your edges, uh, you know, balanced. So I'm going to chain three as I normally would. Okay, if I was doing double crochet. But what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to turn it around and chain another two. So that's that's four chains in total. So we're not counting this chain. We're not counting this chain. Okay, we're going to skip two chains and we're going to work into the third one. Okay, so obviously this is the double crochet. One, two, okay. So the third chain. So skip two and I just worked a double crochet into there. Now it's really important as well that at the end of your mesh stitch row you have a single stitch here. That's just to hold it together and it will enable seaming. So one, two, okay. So chain two, skip two, one, two and in we go. See, so you have this shape. So say you have worked the mesh panel up to the point that you are happy with being the edge. Uh, just work one double crochet stitch after chaining two. And say this is where I want to stop. Now what I have to do is chain one, two, three. Turn the piece around again, okay, and now we're going to work back, but this time we're going to be working into the chain space. So yarn over, chain another two, because if you remember rightly, that needs to give us space to get over to this first chain space. And all it means by into the chain space is in here, okay, so not in the chain, not in the post right in here in this gap okay so i'm going to work one double crochet into the chain space okay and i'm going to chain two work a double crochet into the next chain space okay chain two and another double crochet into this chain space Okay, and keep going until you get to the end. So I'm at the last chain space here, so I've chained two. And then as you can see, I've got a chain space and a double crochet on the end. So I'm going to work into that chain space, just as I would do. Chain two, and then just in the top of this double crochet stitch on the end, Always leave a, a stitch at the end because it gives it structure and it will just help keep the edges straight and seam. And this is the fun part now. All we do for the next however many ro rows that you want to do this is chain three, turn, chain two more because they are going to be the first part of the next mesh stitch and move straight into the next um, 
space. One, two, into the next space, and so on. And just keep going until the end. Now, as you can see here with the Daphne shawl, you can uh, use mesh in between solid panels, or you can just have all mesh. You could do a market bag. You could do an open uh, beach cover up. Uh, you can do so many things with it, um, but it is a great stitch and it saves you so much time with your projects.